Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new video here on the second channel. We got some brand new cards to look at here that got revealed over the past couple of days that are going to be featured in our Paradise Dragona set or our Surging Spark set that does release in November. These cards have been revealed over the past five days, so I've compiled all of them into one little video here talking about them. We got a brand new EX Pokemon to look at and also a crazy new A-Spec card we're going to look at. Maybe a bit of a shorter video today um, since these cards got revealed in bits and pieces. And of course, the set will be releasing in November with our Surging Spark set. And I'm definitely excited to look at these cards. And of course, if you're new here to the second channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We're on the road to 17 thousand subs and if you want to enjoy the video leave a like let me know what you think of these cards down below in the comments and of course i will leave a link to pokey beach here the site i'm using in the description below if you want to go read these cards for yourself so starting things off we do have this new cast form which unfortunately is not very good it does sunny assist 50 damage move all energy from it to one of your bench pokemon kind of mid the main draw of this card is probably that we are getting a pretty nice looking trainer gallery with the new set and that's basically all there is to talk about with the cast form but we do have a brand new flapple and appleton line it to look at here that are coming out within the new set so the first one to look at here is the brand new flapple now the new flapple being a dragon pokemon is pretty good and it does have the attack sour spit which for one colorless energy does 20 damage for each damage counter already on your opponent's active pokemon now this could be really good in combination with spread cards of course maybe dust Snor could be a good way to get damage on them you could also play this within a spread deck like frostlass evil tall which i think is going to be the main way you're going to play flapple you're probably going to want to play with Frostlass, where you're already piling a bunch of damage on the board. I mean, if you get 10 damage counters on a Pokemon, Flapple can do 200 damage, and that's 300 damage you can basically be doing. For one energy, that's not too bad. Again, this could be good within Frostlass. Probably going to be the best way to play it. Though, keep in mind, you are a Dragon Pokemon, so you can play Flapple within Regidrago V-Star. I don't know how useful Sour Spit will be with Regidrago, because, like, even if you use this with Dragapulse on attack to spread damage on the board so that later on you can Sour Spit them, I'm not too sure you really care to do that, because you already have strong attacks with Giratina, Gudra, Dragapult, Kiram. I don't know if you're going to get a lot of value out of Sour Spit, so I don't know if this would actually see play with Drago, but could be really good within Frostlass, obviously. And then we have a brand new Appleton to look at here. With two attacks, you got Sweet Melt, for two colorless energy, does 50 damage, and then during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon cannot attack. And then you have Wild Tackle that just does 130, and then 20 to itself. So Appleton's main attack, I think, will be that sweet melt attack. 50 damage is not a lot of damage, but you do force the opponent's active Pokemon to not attack. This could be a decent attack in combination with, like, an unfair stamp or Iono, like any hand disruption card that shrinks your opponent's hand down to make them not be able to find Switch. This could be good in that situation. I don't know how good this actually is, though, because the best way to play this would probably be in Reggie Drago, because... Appleton doesn't really do anything special by itself, but I don't know how much value Reggie Drago gets out of using Sweet Melt. I mean, 50 damage is not a lot of damage. Like, okay, maybe if this attack did 70, 60 damage, it would have been a little bit better, but 50 is just a little too low. So, like, I'm pretty sure, like, Reggie Drago isn't even going to use this card um, because, I mean, the effect can be strong, like, even weirdly enough in, like, the Drago Mirror could be good because Drago's got a three retreat cost. And preventing them from being able to attack is strong, but I don't think Flapple or Appleton is very good. I do think Flapple is a little bit more decent, but the Appleton probably isn't going to do anything. We do have a brand new Espathra line to look at here. A lot of Espathra is in the format of this one. does have a similar attack to TM Devo with its Mystic Eye attack. You de-evolve one of your opponent's evolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage evolution into their hand. So it's basically a worse TM Devo because you only evolve, you de-evolve one Pokemon as opposed to all of them with TM Devo. Um, I mean, it's not a bad attack, though. I mean, you know, it is strong to do this against decks like Charizard, against any evolution deck in general. Obviously, they can get really punished. But I don't know how good Mystic Eye actually is, because it doesn't seem like it's going to be that good of an attack overall. It doesn't really do anything special. That TM Devo just does better. Like, TM Devo is a tool. It's, I guess, a little bit harder to find in a way. But I don't think that that really makes a difference. Because you're also only de-evolving one Pokemon. So, like, even if I'm playing in a Spath or EX deck, I don't know if I'm going to be playing a one-off copy of this. Because I don't know how useful it actually is. Now, we got the brand new EX to look at here. We got our first look at Black Kyurem EX. We haven't had a Black Kyurem 2 prize card in a while. And Black Kyurem is a pretty sick Pokemon. But the question is, does this Pokemon do anything good? It is a water type drag or water type Pokemon. Sorry. I don't know why I said dragon. It's a water type Pokemon uh, with 230 HP. And it does have two attacks. You got Ice Age for three colorless energy, does 90 damage. And if your opponent's active Pokemon is a dragon Pokemon, it is now 
paralyzed. So you immediately paralyze a dragon Pokemon. So right away, this could be annoying for Regidrago V-Star to deal with because they're immediately going to get paralyzed and they're forced to find a switch or a prime catcher to get out of it. And the other thing is your other attack here, Black Frost, that for four energy does a nice big 250 damage. You do take 30 damage, but you are doing a big chunk of damage. Now, Looking at Black Hiram here, it does have two attacks, which I think are both actually kind of useful in their own ways. Paralyzing a Dragon Pokemon isn't bad because, like I said, if you're playing against Regidrago V-Star, you can, like, go Iono plus Ice Age for 90, and then you hit them with the Paralysis. They don't attack you, and then you can finish them off with Black Frost. Now, the downside of Black Frost is it does need four energy, and since Black Hiram does require so much energy to do these attacks, you're probably going to have to play this card with Bax Caliber. This could be a good one of in Shen Pao, potentially, um, because it does have two strong attacks. I mean, even just using Black Frost isn't bad. 250 is enough damage to knock out all the big basics like Raging Bolt and Roaring Moon and Iron Hands, but it's also going to be close to KOing a V-Star Pokemon. I mean, if you play this card with a Choice Belt, you're doing 280 damage with Black Frost, and then all of a sudden you're one-shotting the Dragos, you're one-shotting the Palkias, you're one-shotting Lugias out of nowhere. So, this card could be bad beneficial potentially within um backs caliber i don't know if it would be good by itself maybe it would be good by itself without shampoo it's a little bit more low maintenance than shampoo um because shampoo you know you have to keep constantly recycling the energy over and over again to keep chain attacks or black hiram you just slam it all in the black hiram and be like well if you can't answer this card it's pretty good not the most insanely good card ever i'm honestly a little disappointed that we didn't get a better black hiram to be honest because this is a pretty sick pokemon but maybe we'll get a one prize black hiram that'll be a bit better who knows but it's a cool pokemon but i don't think the card is like fantastic it's not bad though definitely could be good within chen pao and like i said that first attack can be decent against something like reggie drago v star because auto paralysis is pretty strong uh, but yeah what do you think of black hiram down in the comments do you think it's good in back's caliber shampoo do you think it'll see play as a one of that's like my best answer is like maybe as a one of it would be good all right next up is the new a spec card here energy search pro now this card is kind of crazy now it has a very simple effect here but basically what it does search your deck for any number of basic energies of different types um, reveal them and put them into your hand so that's basically all it does gets energy of different types and that is kind of interesting so uh yeah you can just grab a bunch of energy with this card out of nowhere and then immediately just put them in your hand and there are decks that benefit from having energy in their hand goldango is a big one um, something like there's a Grafii, which technically does have its optimal spec now. Yo, Grafii stands. Stand up. Um, and then, of course, maybe it could see play within Shen Power or something. Um, because, yeah, you're getting a bunch of energy in your hand, which is kind of crazy. Um, and that is pretty strong. Does it beat out the other A spec cards, though? Like Prime Catcher, Unfair Stamp? I'm not too sure it does, to be honest with you. But it is a pretty cool effect, nonetheless. This is searchable with Arvin, like... You can basically turn an Arvin into a ton of energy cards out of nowhere, which is kind of cool. Like, it's better than Earth and Vessel in that regards. So definitely a pretty decent A-spec card. Not the worst A-spec we could have got. There are going to be uses for it, and decks that do like to have energy within their hand, like I said, Goldengo and stuff, will really benefit from having this card. So definitely can see play in the right environment. I mean, there are decks in general that maybe just want to put energy in their hand in general. Like, even if it's not part of their attack like just having energy in their hand so they can fuel it in the discard pile so that they can like accelerate it into play also isn't terrible either it's just a nice like turbo card in a way like that's the best way to describe this card it's more of like a decent turbo card in some regards though earthen vessel is a better card because it's not going to waste your a spec slot you're still getting two energy which isn't terrible value either way so this card does have a bit of competition but it could see its niche uses it is kind of a crazy card nonetheless again a bunch of energy like that is honestly kind of ridiculous like imagine playing this card and putting like 10 energy in your hand out of nowhere. That would be a little insane, but that's definitely what this card could cook up. Again, nothing too crazy did get revealed in um, these new, in the new set here, but I did want to talk about them. Nonetheless, I didn't want to leave them hanging and uh, stuff. But yeah, let me know what you think of the Black Curum and, of course, the new Energy Search Pro A-Spec card down in the comments. I'd be interested to hear. I'll leave a link to Poke Beach's site I'm using down in the description below. And if you went on to enjoy the video, leave like and all that good stuff. And uh, make sure to subscribe down below. We're on the road to 17K subs. And yeah, that'll be it for me. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you on another video. Bye-bye.